the royal nuptials of Prince Henry Charles Albert David, whew, that's a long one, and Miss Rachel Meghan Markle have finally arrived and we are ready. Are you? Go Bridgeside. I know I'm not alone in being pretty excited about the upcoming royal wedding. This is kind of a big deal since Meghan is living every girl's dream of becoming a princess. This is a legit fairy tale in real life. So whether you're a lady or a commoner who did not get an invite, I know mine was lost in the mail, you can celebrate like a royal with your very own wedding watch party. I have some easy and delicious ideas of what you can serve for the wedding of the year. And the best part is, you can do it all while staying in your pajamas. <laughs> Meghan Markle is the first American to marry into the royal family since 1937, when Wallace Simpson married the Duke of Windsor after he abdicated the throne. See, Simpson was a divorced woman, and Edward VIII was not permitted to marry her, so the king gave up his throne to marry his love in exile. But times have changed, and though Markle is also divorced, Members of the royal family can marry whomever they want now. Huzzah! This royal wedding will be held in St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle, the same place where Charles and Camilla married. But unlike his father, the younger prince will be having a huge bash. Harry and Meghan are embracing their respective countries in planning their big day. So for my menu, I will be making some traditional British foods with a little American flair thrown in. The best part is, you can make everything ahead of time. For us in America, the wedding will be shown very early in the morning. Make the typical tea tray of brunch foods that you and your guests can grace throughout the morning's festivities. No tea tray would be complete without scones. You can have any flavor and it's so easy to add fruits or nuts to a basic scone recipe. For sandwiches, use English cucumbers and cream cheese, an American creation. And to top the tray off, serve some mini cakes. Now for the tea. Being up so early to watch the wedding parades, you're going to want to caffeinate, and this is the perfect occasion to try something new. American tea company Harney & Sons has re-released their royal wedding tea blend for this special day. This is a white tea with pink rosebuds. The description alone sounds like the perfect choice for a wedding, but if you prefer something less floral and with more of a boost, why not try the pomegranate berry green tea from Twinings? The company has been the official tea supplier for the royal family since 1837, so pinkies up to the prince and princess. I just want to point out that this in India means you need to go to the bathroom. For their wedding cake, Prince Harry and Meghan will not have the traditional fruit cake. Ooh. Instead, they will serve a lemon and elderflower cake. And ever since this flavor combo was announced, it has started popping up everywhere. Trader Joe's has come out with this lemon elderflower soda. You know, you could just make a cocktail out of that and just add some pims or gin. And it is the perfect way to toast the newlyweds. And don't worry, it will be afternoon in London, so enjoy some of that guilt-free day drinking, because I know I will be. So let us know how you're watching the royal wedding festivities. Are you in your pajamas? Are you dressed up? Are you wearing a fascinator? Share some recipes and ideas, and let's create a little Markle Sparkle at our very own viewing party. Go Bridgeside. Haven't subscribed to our channel yet? Off with your head. Sorry, sorry, I just kind of got into that royal spirit. But we'd love to hear your comments, questions, and especially that sub. And while Meghan Markle is joining the royal family, we want you to join our family, the Bridgeside family. Check out the rest of Bridgeside Network and keep up with everything we're doing. Go Bridgeside.